Okay, so welcome to the tool review video and in this particular video, we are going to set up and review the tool called Asset Finder. So this tool is developed by TomNomNom and it's written in the Go and it's an open source. You can find on the GitHub. I will provide the GitHub link in the description. First thing first, it might be possible that you already know about this tool. It might be possible that you know about the tools, but you try to set up the tools and you encounter some errors, right? And it might be possible that you are hearing this tool's name very first time. In any cases, please try to watch the, my video at the end so that if there is anything that you don't know, which I'm covering in the video, then it might help you, right? So let's go ahead and let's start with the video. So what is the Asset Finder? So at is, Asset Finder is basically best tool in the market to capture, to uh, extract the subdomains for a particular domain. Okay. Okay, so why this tool is best in the market? Because this tool is not just relying on the DNS queries to find the subdomains. It is using a lot of different different logics to gather the data of the subdomains and putting them together and then giving it the results. Okay, so when I say different different logics, what I mean by different different logic? For example, it is using Wayback URL to gather past URLs. Uh, it is using uh, social media colors to find if there is any link on the social media that related to that particular domain and by this way there are a lot of things and by these all of these things it is collecting the subdomains and giving it to you okay so without wasting time let's go ahead and let's open the browser and let's see how to set up TomNomNom's asset finder so first thing first go ahead in the browser and type TomNomNom asset finder and once it is done, uh, click on the search and you should get the nice link in the first, which is a GitHub link, right? So click on that link. I will leave this link in the description also. If you want to check there, you can check out there. So uh, as you can see, you can go through the source code and you try to understand what is there. And I will just go ahead and I will try to set up this tool on my local computer. So here is a command, go get and whatever the uh, command is there rest of the command is there right so first open the terminal if you are on linux and mac just open the terminal uh, let me make sure that my terminal is uh, visible and first thing first hence this tool is written in the go you should have go lang installed right so if i do go and press enter i'm getting some output that means the go lang is installed on my system right and if it is not installed on system then what you can do is uh, you can add a uh, sudo apt uh, get or apt install and you can just say go lang and this will install go language on your system and once it is installed just type go and hit enter and if it is giving the output like this that means it is completely installed and you can uh, proceed with your work right so let's go ahead and open the github and copy the url and paste it right here oops so we are getting error called this format is no longer supported exactly right this is not supported so let's go ahead and let's get the previous command and let's make some modifications in the command so i'm going to keep this as it is and i'm going to type go install and let's hit enter so as you can see it is not giving any error that means go lang is installed so let's try uh, sorry, that means the asset vendor is installed, right? So let's type asset and try to hit tab button. So when I try to hit tab button, it is not completing the full name. That means the asset finder uh, is installed, but it's not in the path. So what you can do is do control C and go to the home directory by typing CD. In my case, I was already there and then do LS. So if you do LS, as you can see, there is a folder called go. Okay. So this is the folder called go. So you can just cd into the go and once you are inside the go, you can do ls. There is a folder called bin, right? So that's where the all packages uh, get installed. So let's go to bin and do ls. And as you can see, asset finder is right there, right? So let's try to run asset finder directly. So as you can see, it is giving me some output right here. So I have two options. First option, run asset finder from here. The second option, add this bin path into the path so that you can access this particular uh, uh, thing uh, without going into the directory, right? In second method, what you can do is you can add this particular bin path into the path so that every time you open the 
terminal uh, the asset finder will be always in the path so for that what you need to do is you need to type export path equals path dollar and whatever the path is that needs to be exported so let's do quick uh, pwd and let's go ahead and copy this particular path and sorry just first copy this particular command right here and let's erase this path and add our own so by this way i can uh, see if i type asset and hit tab button it is getting completed so that means right now the asset finder is in path and i can just type h and it will work right so uh, this is a temporary solution again and if you want to add the permanently in the path what you can do is you can just copy this and do cd let me make the bigger go to the home directory first that's a, a important thing and do, then do nano dot bash rc so in this file you can add this line right here and that should give you uh, the that should add the path permanently and let me say you can just save the file and source the file and it will work fine but in my case i don't want to do that because this is just a temporary so i'll just clear this thing and i will try to execute the asset finder so let's do asset finder dash h so right now as you can see in the help it is showing the subs only so let's go ahead and let's replace with the subs only and i want to find subdomains for google.com uh, let's type google.com and let's pipe this output using t and add in out.txt dot domains right so you can add anything okay so out.txt dot d it is just to identify uh, that file right so once i hit enter so i will tell you what is happening asset finder will find uh, find all of the subdomains then the output will be t what is a t t basically will show you output on the screen also and at the same time it will add in the txt file also and the file name is this one okay so let's go ahead and click the enter and as you can see done it's done already we have the subdomains right here okay this is how fast it is okay so let's do one thing let's do ls and as you can see in the out.txt there are subdomains available so uh, in order to sorry in order to see how many subdomains we got i will do word count dash l and that will count uh, lines for me and as you can see it is showing 1662 subdomains for google.com uh, this particular tool has found okay that's a pretty much impressive because it is taking uh, about 20 seconds and it is able to find the whole thousands of subdomains for that particular domain and using and if you if you try to use the old method or a sub finder or something like that to find this much subdomain first thing it will not find this much subdomain it might find thousand subdomains only and it will take hell a lot of time literally hell a lot of time okay so uh, let's go ahead and let's open this particular file and let's see subdomain so first domain is obviously the google.com which doesn't make sense but it adds and uh, then you can see it started the proxy the rate limited whatever 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 right and there is a one more thing i want to mention here uh, the thing is uh, sub if you go to the repository the github repository of the asset finder you will find that which method is being used to find the subdomain so you can see the wayback url is there visual total is there url scan is there and uh, there is a facebook is also there and other methods are there right so it might be possible that someone has already created subdomain in the past it used the subdomain somewhere on the social media or someone created way back url uh, history for that particular subdomain but after that the subdomain was deleted right so in that case asset finder will find that subdomain and it will list but this subdomain is not valid anymore because this subdomain is already deleted not being used right so uh, in order to avoid this false positive what you can do is you can just send the probe request for each subdomain and if you are getting probe bags then this subdomain is valid and you can add in separate file else this subdomain is not valid and you can uh, remove from the file right so this is how you can get major uh, like uh, all subdomain list uh, and all valid subdomain list i must say right 
and yeah that's pretty much all this is how you can find the uh, subdomains if you want to set up tool on uh, permanently you can just uh, export that bin path in the source uh, bin bash uh, file and yeah that's pretty much all uh, please let me know what uh, you think about tool how this tool is helping you and if you know already about this tool please let me know if i'm missing anything in the video and if there is any wrong thing i said in the video please mention in the chat and uh, if everything goes well then yeah please feel free to uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe button to the uh, my channel and if you have any tool that you think that i should review or i should create a video about the setup tool then uh, definitely please mention that tool in the uh, chat also uh, or comment also and i will definitely try to create video about that particular tool right so yeah that's uh, pretty much all for this video and uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next